plant gang, one of my favorite trees that we find in our woodlands here in the Appalachian Mountains, uh, but really all the way up the eastern seaboards is Fagus grandifolia, the American beech. Look at this beautiful gray smooth bark. Uh, and one of the things I love about this tree is its character in the wintertime. Uh, this bark really shines, and then the leaves actually don't completely fall off the tree. They look like beautiful silvery brown flags as you look at them through the woodlands. When you run into a beautiful specimen in this woods, you're going to remember it because it's a beautiful tree. Uh, these trees get quite large, they get quite wide. Uh, it's not used a lot in the home landscape. Uh, because this plant is extremely hard to transplant, or at least it has a reputation for being hard to transplant uh, in the home landscape. Uh, not any really known cultivars of this plant, uh, so if you're going to grow it, it's typically just a straight species. A uh, beautiful foliage, uh, beautiful fruit as well, yellowish uh, fall color with uh, the just outlays of copper colors uh, on that plant, uh, but beautiful kind of and also zigzaggy twigs, beautiful kind of cigar shaped buds is a great ID characteristic. Uh, but I'm just stru uh, struck by this bark and how beautiful it is. Uh, when you run into this tree in the woods, uh, again, you're not going to forget it because it's beautiful. So here we're looking at a close up of the bark, which is really a great ID characteristic for this tree. Strikingly gray. Uh, like an elephant's foot almost uh, in, the, in the landscape. Uh, this tree gets quite large. You'll often see it in colonies in the landscape. Uh, the branches grow very wide and long and they can actually droop down to the ground and uh, root right where they uh, fall on the ground. Uh, you maybe, if you're lucky, will encounter a spot in a landscape where there's a perfect circle of beaches. And typically what has happened there is uh, that long ago a mother beach has uh, rooted in a complete circle of siblings around the edges and then the mother tree has died. It, it's quite an interesting thing if you do get a chance to run in on uh, that situation. So again, Fagus grandifolia, the American beech. This is a deciduous tree. Hardy from zones three through nine can get 50 to 80 foot high and spread out, spread out 40 to 80 foot wide. Uh, can you imagine a tree 80 foot by 80 foot? Uh, not many of those left in North America, uh, but there are some uh, very few examples. Uh, commonly called American beech, uh, again native to eastern uh, North America. No serious disease or insect problems. Uh, beech scale is something that you might run into. Uh, this is a great plant uh, that you really want to know. Uh, and if you get a chance to preserve one of these plants in the landscape, I really do recommend that you do. As we look at the leaf here, a uh, clue in on the buds of the leaf. You might also be seeing some of the beech nut uh, as well, which is the fruit of this plant. So we're looking closely at the leaf here. Uh, these leaves are elliptical with serrations uh, and they're alternately arranged on the stem. Uh, in the fall, uh, the flowers give way to these edible beech nuts, uh, which are a major part of this tree. And also you can see that this beautiful uh, foliage is also kind of glossy, uh, which really does uh, lead this to having really nice fall color. Here's a landscape tip. One of the finest North American native trees should always be preserved in the landscape.